case you're wondering. By the way, good morning. It's about 5.50. I'm in uh, Whitney Pocket, Nevada. In case you're wondering what it's like out there when I first open the door. Here you go. Good morning. Here we are at uh, Whitney Pocket, Nevada. Unbelievable scenery. Everywhere you look. Now, just want to say right off the bat, it was 20 miles of gravel, rock, potholes to get here. But if you endure the long, very long trek, we can't go probably no more than 20 miles per hour, and that's pushing it more like 15, sometimes even less, unless you want to find out how really well built your, uh, your camper is. Anyway to take you along today take you to a little spot right here in the uh, in the caves mountains it's called the cistern not really sure what it is but uh, I'll do some research on it and uh, maybe let you know later but I want you to just take a look Not a bad campsite. The journey here started with a windstorm and dust storm for two and a half days at Giant Rock in Landers, California. I just couldn't take it anymore, packed up and left. We got here a couple days ago in the dark around 11 p.m don't like to do that because you know obviously it's dangerous <clears throat> but just couldn't take it anymore I literally could not walk outside of my teardrop and uh, my mental sanity I had to hit the road and I'm glad I did but uh, anyway giant rock was spectacular and uh, Make sure you check out the video on that. So, not sure what this is. Looks like some kind of old cattle feeding structure. Horses. There's evidence of, of horses being here. Let's go in here and explore. This spot is about two and a half hours northeast of Las Vegas. And look at this little nook right here. Of course, Brady's like, no biggie. Just take a look at this wild. This is so odd back here. Here we go again, holding the tripod. Just asking for trouble. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, there's some steps on this side, too.
careful up here, buddy. Don't get distracted. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Look at this crazy guy. This is just, uh, I know I said Giant Rock was the best boondock spot, and it was until I arrived here. This is just endless, all directions. Red rock, sand rock, sandstone. Okay, let's go that way, buddy. Let's go that way, be careful. There you go. Good boy. Let's go back, let's go this way, where you were before. This way, this way, yeah, go ahead. No, this way, buddy, this way, go ahead. There you go, go ahead. Go ahead, go right on down. Well, if you're a big person, you're not going to be able to make it through that little crack right there. That is small. Look at this. Brady's like grass. I haven't seen grass in forever. Just look at this. Nature. Purpose of this channel is to convey the joy and demonstrate how amazing nature is look at this that must be 200 feet up you want to go up there go ahead go ahead buddy keep going keep going keep going there you go be careful sometimes he waits to make sure that it's okay it's just I really do believe I have the best dog in the world I know most of you dog owners think that as well but this little guy right here is just, man. Isn't this outrageous? Let's go up here. Why don't you get up there, buddy? Look at the colors and the shapes. Thought I'd show you this spot. Uh, I need to turn the camera off for this one. You can tell we're getting closer to the Grand Canyon. Which is our next destination. Be here a few days. And uh, we'll move on. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. One hand. You make it look easy, buddy. Four legs.
the pattern here on the rock. Sandstone is pretty neat. There's both this color and the red. I'll take you over there next. Look at this little look at this little bush right here. Just a giant piece of sandstone here and one little bush, nothing else growing out of it. How is that possible? Pretty cool. The power of nature and its ability to adapt. Look at that. Unreal. So what do you think? Not too bad, right? Look at this campsite. These boulders keep the big rigs from, plus that turn down there. They just can't make it. But we can. Look at this. This is literally where we're camped. Not a bad kitchen view. These trees, similar to the Joshua tree, are all over. Deserts covered with them. I have zero internet. I have no connection at all, no signal, nothing. So I haven't been able to look at what they are. If you know, leave it in the comments. Let me know. They are pretty cool though. The sand is red. from the erosion of the sandstone. It's interesting. We don't see it, but you could make every second 1,000 years, this mountain would not be, it would be moving. It would be diminishing, being absorbed until it's all sand like this. To us, it looks stationary because we can't see it. We can't see time that quickly. We don't notice it. If I came back one billion years from now, this mountain probably wouldn't be here. It would be sand. These uh, little holes here are filled with little nests. What a perfect natural nest. If I were a bird, I would seriously consider nesting in here. I think what they do is they take their beaks and they chip away at the at the sandstone which is very doable if you got a sharp object you can make way pretty quickly and uh, then they just burrow up in there I see them come in and out there's no one there's nothing here now sometimes 
nature just provides. Take a look. My own private bathroom. Complete with window steps from my kitchen.